Skate Dr. Lou Bordeaux here with you. What a great game we just saw. Greenfield wins that one 4-2 over the Agawam Brownies. Uh, it was an independent game, but always a big win when a right division team beats a Barry division team. So when, I want to just recap these goals for you tonight. Uh, scoring started two minutes into the first period of play when Doug Hineski lit the lamp for his 11th goal of the season. Took a nice feed from Will Averill from the point on that one. So right off the bat, two minutes into the game, 1-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Just over a minute later, Aiden Roach scored his eighth goal of the season at 3.15 in the first period, assisted by his line mates, Kyle Barnes and Sean O'Sullivan, giving the Green Wave a 2-0 lead. Roach lit the lamp again at 11.16 of the first period, when he stole the puck, went in unassisted, beat the Aguam goaltender Brandon Pryor for a 3-0 lead, and Greenfield came off the ice after one period leading 3-0. Now in the second period, the momentum changed. Aguam came out and really took the plate to the Green Wave. Despite being outshot 13-9, you could see the momentum change, and Aguam got on the board when Nick Bonagurio scored his fifth goal of the season for the Brownies. He was assisted by Andrew Grasso, a sophomore forward. After two periods, the score was 3-1 to one in favor of the Green Wave, but this one was far from over. After a sequence of plays in the third period, Brandon Pryor had made a save. Puck came out of the zone. Aguam stormed Riley Drew. Puck bounced free. And Mitch Dronowski was able to bang home a rebound, made the game 3-2 in favor of Greenfield, with just 4-12 remaining in the third period of play. It got really tense over the last couple minutes. Aguam took their timeout with about a minute 35 remaining. And while both sides planned their strategy, we saw Sean O'Sullivan find the empty net to seal the victory for the Green Wave. Four to two, O'Sullivan got assists from his line mates, Doug Hineski and Brian Bauman. So it was a big win for the Green Wave. They've got three more games left in the regular season. They're gonna be playing Friday, Friday afternoon at the University of Massachusetts against the Belchertown Orioles. Saturday night, right back here at the Collins Moylan Arena against Southwick. It's going to be senior night. So if you see this video in advance and you come out to see senior night on Saturday, please do. It's going to be a doubleheader. Earlier, the uh, annual patron game, a fundraiser, is going to be held featuring Greenfield High alumni from the past. Always a lot of fun. We always look forward to that one. And then the regular season ends one week from tonight, next Monday night, February 18th, right here at the Collins Moylan Arena when the Ludlow Lions come to town. After that, playoff bound, Green Wave. We don't have the schedule yet, but please stay tuned to FCAT Sports, to your local media, and we hope to see you for some playoff hockey here in Greenfield. Until then, I'm Lou Bordeaux, Franklin County, and Green Wave Skate Doctor saying good night from the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Final score, Greenfield 4, Agawam 2. Good night, everybody.